there are a surprising number of young female Carmelite saints. Saint Miriam of Jesus Crucified died in Bethlehem at age 31. Saint Elizabeth of the Trinity was only 26 when she passed away in Dijon, France. And most famously, Saint Therese was the tender age of 24 when she died in Lisieux. However, there is another lesser known Carmelite saint who was only 19 years old when she left this world to be united with God in heaven. Saint Teresa of Jesus of the Andes. Over the last few months, I've developed a new appreciation for this energetic, charming young Latin American saint. Through her love for adventure and the outdoors, her contagious joy, and her incredible passion for Jesus, she speaks to my heart. So I'd like to take a few minutes to introduce you to her. This year marks the 100th anniversary of her death. So I believe that St. Teresa of the Andes has something powerful to say to us here and now, especially to the young people of today. You would think that there wouldn't be much to say about a life so brief, but St. Teresa's 19 years were more vibrant and full than the lives of many people who lived to be three or four times that age. And yet, her life was also shockingly ordinary. She was born Juana, or Juanita, on July 13, 1900, in Santiago, Chile. She was raised in a loving, faithful family, growing up with two sisters and three brothers. Like you and I, Juanita was not born a saint. Her diary reveals that from a fairly young age, she struggled with vanity. She was a beautiful young woman and had to fight the temptation to enjoy the fact that others admired her physical appearance. As a girl, she was also extremely passionate and strong-willed, being overwhelmed by fits of anger when she did not get her way. Many saints have radical moments of conversion that completely change their lives. But I think that Juanita was more like most of us. She grew in virtue slowly by saying yes to God's grace in little ways in her life, day in and day out. Juanita was strongly influenced by reading the writings of St. Therese, who died just three years before her birth, and St. Elizabeth of the Trinity, who died when she was only three years old. Little did she know that halfway across the world from those young Carmelite saints in France, she would so closely follow in their footsteps. One thing that I find attractive about St. Teresa's life was her adventurous spirit and great love for the outdoors. She enjoyed riding horses and search for waterfalls, swimming in the ocean, and playing tennis with her friends. In one of her letters when she was 18 years old, she recalls hiking by a serene river. As she was praising God for the beauty of his creation, she heard a startling noise beneath her and looked down to realize that she had stepped on a snake. She wrote that she released a scream so great that she doesn't think one like it has ever come from the, a human mouth, and she ran away in a panic. Juanita loved the beautiful Chilean mountains and was able to find intimacy with God in the beauty of nature. Juanita was also a young woman of deep, meaningful relationships. She had a particular love for her younger sister, Rebecca, who would later become a Carmelite nun herself after Juanita's death. She also had a special love for her parents, even though it wasn't always easy for her. She wrote some beautiful letters to her father, imploring him to strengthen his relationship with God and begging him to share his loneliness and suffering with her so that she could pray for him. Juanita also had a close yet unique relationship with her older brother, Luis, who had stopped believing in God. She continued writing to him throughout her life, patiently and tactfully drawing him closer to God through her great love. He would eventually return to the faith after her death and would attribute his conversion to her miraculous intercession. Besides her family, Juanita also had many close friends. 
She loved spending time with them at school or on outdoor adventures or singing and playing the piano. She wrote what she called newsy letters to her friends, even from Carmel. She was a young woman of meaningful relationships who was always concerned about how her beloved friends were doing. She had a great capacity to meet people where they were at, writing to some friends about the heights of mystical union with God, and to others about more mundane matters, simply encouraging them to make a little time for prayer and for Mass. In the midst of her busy life of family, friends, and school, Juanita still found time to serve others by volunteering at her church and caring for the poor. She also devoted herself to a life of deep prayer, despite the many responsibilities of her life before entering Carmel. She shows us that we don't have to live in a monastery to commit ourselves to daily prayer and to find profound intimacy with God. She wrote, When a soul truly loves, and this we see even in human love, she wants only to be with the loved one, gazing always upon the beloved, sharing the intimacy of her heart, being drawn ever closer and closer. St. Teresa of the Andes is a witness that God is offering the young people of today powerful graces in prayer to transform them into the holy men and women that are so much needed in our troubled world. After answering God's call to become a Carmelite nun at age 18, receiving the name Teresa of Jesus after the Carmelite foundress, Teresa of Avila, she would die only 11 months later. She lived a short 19 years and nine months. 19 years and nine months filled to the brim with faith, love, and joy. More than anything, it was her exceptional joy that is the most incredible characteristic of her life. Her meaningful relationships, her service to others, her Carmelite vocation, and eventually her illness and death were marked with a contagious joy. In one letter to her sister not long before she entered Carmel, she explains how she had become famous for her fits of laughter. She recalls, somewhat embarrassed, that once the priest who was saying the grace after the meal had to stop his prayer halfway through because he had been infected with her laughter. I believe that this is the message that St. Teresa of the Andes has for us today. Our world is so overwhelmed with despair, fear, anger, and deep suffering. Young people today struggle to build meaningful relationships, to feel loved and connected, and to find meaning in their lives. St. Teresa of the Andes shows us that when we give ourselves completely over to God's love, all things become joy. This doesn't always take away the pain, but it gives us the perspective to see that God is somehow working through it all in his great love for us. This is a message that we truly need to hear. St. Teresa of Jesus of the Andes, pray for us.